Hello everyone, I've got some Steps of Betrayal gameplay for you. This is the One Day Mutation, and it's pretty much an April Fool's joke, I guess, from Blizzard, because uh, initially you would think you get into the match and you're going to be playing this weird mutation where you don't really know any of the mutations, and then all of a sudden you're up against your enemy. Well, I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube already, so I know that this is one versus one with all of the co-op commanders. And what I've been seeing is that Karax, Alarak, Stukov, and Raynor are the most powerful so far. That's just what I've seen on YouTube. Now, some people are saying that Raynor is the most powerful out of all of these, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a go. This is my first time playing it, and what I think I'm going to do is use Raynor, since that is apparently the strongest commander, and I think why Raynor is so strong is because you can get down a bunch of barracks and then pump out a ton of marines and they drop into your enemy's base and you just take them out so we're gonna see how well that goes okay for mastery skill points we're gonna go speed increase for drop pod units because we're, we're gonna be taking advantage of this power set 2 Hyperion cooldown and power set 3 I think we're gonna go with damage reduction during medic heals alright and one second, we might actually be able to get the Overmind to hop in this with us. Well, I gave it a go, and you actually can't invite players to your party. I misunderstood that. So it looks like I'm just going to be playing with random players, and it looks like our opponent is going to be Tristan, level 13, playing as Abathur. I think Tristan has no chance. <laughs> We've got mastery skills, and level 13 just isn't going to cut it. I think we're going to take Tristan down. And it might be interesting to try some type of a win streak video series with this just for the remaining 13 hours. See how many wins we can get in a row and just crush our opponents. That'd be a lot of fun. But just about to start this. All right, let's get it going. Okay, I'm going to pump out a bunch of SCVs. And uh, as soon as I get to 15 SCV or 15 supply here, then I'm going to drop down an, uh, a supply depot. And as soon as that supply depot Main is uh, done, we're going to get that uh, barracks going up. We're going to save up for the barracks, that is. So I'm just going to wait here. Yeah, we want that barracks ASAP. And I can't actually remember. I'm pretty sure, though, you can just drop pod your units without even having vision of your enemy. So I'm pretty sure that, yeah, you can just drop pod the Marines straight into their base. So we're going to go ahead and do that. If not... I can always just send my SCV over there to scout. Okay, and I'm going to finish creating this wall. Just make sure that the opponent can actually get in and get at us. And as soon as this barracks is done, I think we're going to want to get an orbital command center. It's going to be pretty important. Okay. Well, let's yeah, let's let's get this let's get this orbital command center going and start getting a marine. Alright, this is the test. I'm pretty sure we can just drop straight in. Oh my gosh, that's not even fair. Rainer is so good, okay. Okay, we've got to keep on pumping out these marines. Oh, roaches. Ooh, that's scary. Alright, okay, so we need to, we need to save up uh, units just for a little bit here. So Raynor is going to be very powerful, but uh, roaches come out really fast for Abathur. So we actually might need to be a little careful here. Okay. I am going to start getting some of these SCVs on the refinery here. And then we're going to throw all of our barracks into a hotkey. And hopefully what we can do is just overwhelm our opponent. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to save up for a big mass, and as soon as we have that mass, that's when we're going to start drop potting all of those marines in on top of our army. And we'll just push out and get them. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're going to drop down a mule, 
get some more SCVs. Okay, all right, we've got a Banshee airstrike. We've got a ton of Marines. We're gonna move out. Okay, and then I'm gonna do with that shift. Oh, whoops. Okay, we're gonna, yeah, shift, click on all these Marines here. So that, oh shoot, I messed up my hotkeys. <laughs> <laughs> or not my hotkeys, my uh, rally point. Yeah, we're going to shift click our rally point on these marines. So if a couple of these die, we can just keep on uh, having the marines come to us anyway. Uh oh. Oh no! Swarm host! Oh, that was good. That was really good. That was so smart of our, our uh, opponent. Okay, we are going to want to uh, get an expansion here. And we are going to actually start trying to do some type of damage to our enemy. I wonder if I can... Yep, there we go. Okay, so this is where we're really going to start doing some damage. Okay, and we want to take out as much of these uh, drones as we can. Just want a ton of damage to our opponent. Kill the supply. And we're going to try to kill as many of these units as we can. Good, good. Okay, and then we're going to try to kill the hatchery here. So basically, you can just win this by purely using the powers of <laughs> of Rainer. That's so unfair, but that's the way it's that's the way it is. Okay, and then we're gonna kill the Roach, uh, the Roach Warren here, and then the Evolution Chamber. <laughs> oh gosh! Oh, that's not even fair. Mission failed. You murdered your ally. <laughs> what? Let's see, do, does that actually count as failure? Oh no, you do get experience. <laughs> okay, but yeah, there we go. We de got defeated, but we actually won. So <laughs> there we go. That was awesome. All right, that's win number one. You know what? We're going to go again because why not? I want to see how, how many people we can take down in a row. Well, you know what? We gotta spice it up. Hmm, I'm thinking. Should I play as... I think Karax would be great. Yeah, I think Karax would be really overpowered. Okay, we're gonna give get a, one more playthrough in this. And we're gonna play with Karax. Alright, we're gonna do Structure Life and Shields, because we're gonna be uh, Photon Cannon Rushing. Uh, forge. Forge first, basically. I think we're gonna go with repair beam healing rates and we're gonna yes initial and maximum sphere of a dune all right we're gonna test and see if we can actually destroy the enemy's uh, nexus hatchery or command center with just our initial and maximum or initial sphere of a dune energy I want to see how well that'll work oh geez and we're going up against Rainer this is going to be brutal <laughs> all right let's see how it goes so, Durin. Durin is our opponent. Rainer, mastery level 76. So yeah, I think what we're going to try to do is go scout with our probe. And and I think we're going to try to kill the supply line of our opponent. And then that's probably going to be our best bet. Because yeah, see, we have 92 energy already. Okay, and let's see here. Okay, we're going to throw down a pylon here. And we need to have defenses up right away because I'm quite afraid of the marine harass that'll take us down okay here we go yep we're gonna we're gonna take out this person's supply line pronto <laughs> there we go all right let's keep on doing damage here Good, good. All right, and then we're gonna build inside this base. And as long as we can keep away the supply or the income, we should be able to take this person down. Oh no, gotta keep this, gotta keep this probe alive. Uh, <laughs> oh no. Okay, we still have the pile in there though. So we have vision at least. Okay. I need to get another probe over there. OK, 
Okay, energy's coming in. That's good. That's good. Okay, we're gonna get uh, some assimilators so we can start getting some Vespine gas. Okay, I think we're doing pretty good actually. Okay, that marine is dead. So they don't have very many minerals right now. I think this person's probably gonna try and get out marines again. Oh, nope, this person's focusing on uh, getting uh, resources instead. So this is good. Yep, we got the photon cannons down now. I think we've got it, it's game over. Yes! Oh, we did it, yeah! Oh, there you go. You know what? I think Karax might actually be stronger. Just send in the probe right away, take out the whole supply line. <laughs> oh, I love this so much. They need to make this into a game type, a legit game type, not just an arcade, something that they actually support. I think that would be fantastic. All right, well, there you have it, everyone. So far, we've got two wins in a row. I'm gonna keep playing this, and I'm probably not gonna record all the matches I play, but uh, if I play a couple more matches and I win in a row, then eventually I'll post another video of how big my win streak is. And I'm going to keep on playing as Karax or Rainer because I think both of them are very strong. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.